this is really the vision that we are building towards with BlackBerry 10. And so we're going to dive into this in a lot more detail, talk about our new native SDK, uh, the astonishing Cascades UI framework, which we uh, we brought in from, from TAT, uh, our OSS community initiatives, and, uh, and the future, future-proof HTML5 platform. So let's start with, uh, with a look at the, the BlackBerry 10 SDK. And as you heard from George, it's really built on, on two pillars. Uh, a native pillar crowned by Cascades as that rich UI framework for driving next generation UI. And, uh, and web with, uh, with HTML5, where you really have you know, the web frameworks uh, built on top of WebWorks and providing developers with what we believe is going to be the next generation of content uh, across devices and across the internet. So what I'd like to uh, talk about now is the, the open source initiative. So if you saw, you know, we talked about how we're going to build up, we're going to build up our, uh, our platform on open standards. And with QNIX and the BlackBerry 10 OS, we get a whole bunch of open standards out of the box. We get standard POSIX compliance uh, and we get all the APIs that you'd expect and need as a low-level native developer. On top of that, what we've done is we've taken and ported a whole host of open source libraries, native libraries, and made them available to you as a developer community so you can build on and use the libraries that you're familiar with, uh, that you're used to using, and then you can contribute back. If there's libraries that you know that you're using and you want to add to the platform, you would contribute those back into the platform. And we've opened it up and we've seeded it with, uh, with about a dozen, and I think it's grown already to about 24 different libraries and frameworks available. And it's not just about libraries and frameworks, we're actually providing code samples, full applications, all is open source, up on our GitHub site, so please check it out. And then on top of that, uh, on top of that, that base of open standards, is where we really, we really drive our differentiation. And what we've done is we've built up a complete native C++ SDK on top of those open standards, on top of one library in particular, which is Qt. Now Qt is a, a library, it's a C++ framework that's been around for, for a long time, it's evolved, and it's incredibly stable and robust, providing a whole host of high-level language facilities in C++ to C++ developers. And we've taken Qt Core, which is the core application environment behind Qt, and we've built on top of it and extended it with an incredibly rich UI engine called Cascades. And Cascades is the kind of UI engine that we believe will help us drive that next generation of experiences on the platform. So incorporating rich 3D and fluid motion and deep integration into data and services on the device and off in the cloud. This is what we're doing with Cascades. And what I'd like to do now is welcome Anders uh, to the stage from formerly from TAT. Thanks, Chris. Talk about Cascades. Yeah. Great to be here. And, uh, 